Hello everyone. This is the unfinished bedroom of my canal house Heeregracht. And I started this room around 2017 when I made the fireplace and the fireplace mirror, the working windows, the door surround floors, not to forget the floors. And I started making um, some bed linen and right there and some um, a bed crown and I didn't quite like it so I made the other one made another one which came from a um, a little table from Ellison Davies <laughs> and um, I gilded I cut it off and that something broke there I don't know it looks like a necklace but it's not it's it's the plastic parts of the table but anyway I put that bit which I had on the other bed crown as well on there and then I made bed hangings with this lovely fabric with little roses and um, silk and two colors of green but this was to go with the other wallpaper which was from from um, Susan Bembridge. Wonderful, beautiful wallpaper. But it felt too strong for this room. So then about a year and a half ago, I changed it and I did that while I actually had a little accident. Well, not such a little accident, quite, <laughs> quite a serious accident with my thumb, that one, which is now a bit shorter than the other one. But um, it's fine. So um, I started making that and I got so busy I never um, finished it. And this is the wallpaper I put on there which is from uh, Les Chinoiseries and I really like it and it's I did a pretty good job considering I did it left-handed. <laughs> but anyway um, now, I still haven't finished it and I have to do something. So I've already ordered a bed a few months ago, but I just haven't had the time. And I've got the fabric. Oh, here, there it is, the, uh, the name of the company who makes them. Les Chinoiseries. And it's lovely and they have silks and cottons to go with it. And um, I had some more fabrics that were supposed to go in the other room. Very, very thin little stripe. I don't know if you can pick that up on the... Yeah, there we go. Which is really lovely. And I think it's still... Got, I mean, it's, it's a different color. I don't know if I'm going to use it, but it's, it still goes with that um, the trunk. So, now the next thing I should decide when I'm finished with my, my, um, uh, sorry, I'm a little bit, I have a bit of a fever, <laughs> fever at the moment, so I find it very hard to, to think straight. Um, but um, I'm fine, by the way. Uh, what was I making? Kitchen room boxes. Yes, of course. I was making kitchen, kitchen room boxes and they're not quite finished, but I'm almost there. So I hope in um, just about two or three weeks maybe, uh, to, because now I'm ill uh, and I messed up one of the things. I was, I did do a little bit of work on the kitchen room boxes and I made a mistake so I have to correct it. So I thought that's not a good idea to work when you're really not feeling too fantastic. So um, but anyway, um, I was just thinking, what shall I do next after the kitchen room boxes? Shall I work on this room or some of the other rooms? And I'll show you the other ones later. Today I'm working on these, the bottom of these room boxes and I'm going to be veneering them. Uh, they were made from plywood and uh, I would like to have them finished off nicely so I'm starting with the bottom and I'm just going to be using wood glue for this and it takes a lot of glue 
I've cleaned the bottom so it's dust free and well clean and now I'm just going to spread out a lot of glue <laughs> and it will soak into the plywood as well so I'm just using a an old credit card or something like that to spread it out. And I always take particular care of the edges and I'll do another round of glue to um, get it on the edges. I don't want it to come loose. So now I'll go around and just run a bead of glue around the edge. And I don't mind if I put the veneer on and it oozes out of the sides. I can just clean that up. But I just want to have a good... I just want it to stick really well. should do it. Here I've got my piece of veneer which I've cut slightly bigger or slightly bigger quite a lot bigger than the than the bottom and I can clean that up later and I'm going to this edge this front edge is absolutely straight and I'm going to place that against the front edge of my room box. And the rest, which as you can see has an overhang, I'm going to trim that off later. So, all I'm doing is just pressing that in there, or on there. And now ideally I would have large wood uh, clamps glue clamps but I don't have big ones like that so I'm going to press it down using weights and let me put it here I'm first going to put on another bit of thick really thick heavy plywood so that the weights that I put on there will spread evenly I hope anyway and then I have got these babies and they are old irons and they weigh a ton and they're fantastic. They're not very expensive and they are great for um, gluing down or as weights for gluing down. And I've got little ones and big ones. Here's another, I don't know what that is, some kind of clamp, but it's heavy, so I'm using that. And also, big books. Here I have a block of, um, I can't remember what these are called. Ah, it's called a dapping block, but they're for shaping metal, but it's a he really heavy block, so I often use that as well. Now I can use clamps along the front of this edge. And I will put a few of them in there. Oh, I need a little... Um, I need to put some wood underneath so I don't get the impression of the clamp on my floor, which I don't want, of course. But here I can just put some clamps on. I 
think I need some more clamps. <laughs> yeah, that'll be something to ask for my birthday. There, all the clamps are in place. And I've put some more books on there, so it's even heavier. And now this all has to dry for, oh, I'm letting it dry for about 24 hours. From the bedroom, you go through the doorway, which still needs a door, by the way, into the hallway, right there. And um, let's go to the other side. And here we have an area which will become, that will become the bathroom. And I already have a bath, where is it here? It's that one, from Hearth and Home. Miniatures from the UK. And I'm not really keen on that gold leaf um, they put on there. So I will probably change that. That was a second-hand bath I bought somewhere. And I also already have, which I showed you in a previous vlog, this laundry basket, which is by Miniature Mads on Etsy, which I really like that, actually. So that will have to go in, in the... In the and you won't be able to, to see much of the bathroom, so I have to be a little bit clever about it. Um, but it's just a small room. And the colors will be blue and gold, and that may sound a little bit tacky, uh, and I'm, it, I assure you it is not. It's, I have a beautiful wallpaper which isn't actually wallpaper, but I'll show you that when I'll get to it, when I get to it. But it's really, really nice, I promise. And this hole right here is going to be, a, well, not so hidden. It's going to be a staircase. And um, as you can see, everything is still loose. I mean, the floors are not attached and I still have to do a lot. But that, I don't know if I'm going to use these, these stairs, but these are just nah, something like <laughs> so, Well, something like that. I don't know. Let's, let's put that. Well, of course, there, something like that. And then we have a little, need a little bit of a something to cover that as well and like I said I don't know if I am going to use those stairs but um, it will be something like that and uh, so I might start working on that and I just realized that the other room I've already showed you um, in a previous vlog or two vlogs actually because I think it was vlog one and six I showed you this room so, but still needs work, and um, I might start on this one. Well, actually, I'd like to hear from you which one I, uh, which one you would like me to start on. So, let me know in the comments. Until next time.